Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my March favorites. I almost forgot. <laughs> so today I will be sharing with you some items that I just found myself reaching for the most on the month of March. And I don't have too many, but I do have some new items that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this Smashbox Halo Longwear Blush. And this is in the color peachy dream i have been wanting this blush for the longest time and i don't know why i would always just pass it but i finally decided to get it and this is what it looks like so it's like a little grinding thing you just grind the blush and then you get all this product here which you need to be very careful because sometimes you can get too much it is when wearing all my cheeks today i don't know if you can tell but this is such a gorgeous color it gives your face a really nice warmth to it with just the perfect coral undertones it's perfect for the summer it is very long wearing i feel like it lasts hours on my face and i have pretty oily skin so yeah this is the first item and again this is the smashbox peachy dream blush now, staying with the whole makeup trend, I wanted to share some new eyeshadows that I recently, not discovered, but I recently purchased. Now, some of these are Makeup Geek, but most of them are Coastal Sense. So all of these, except for a few, are um, Makeup Geek, but for the most part, they are Coastal Scent eyeshadows. So I've seen a lot of people say that Coastal Scent has some good ones, has some bad ones. I wanted to decide for myself so I did make a purchase and I ordered a whole bunch of them because they're so inexpensive they're $1.95 a piece so I ordered a lot just to test them out and see how I like them and these are amazing this is the one that I used in one of my recent tutorials it's a really gorgeous deep plum color this is in the color violetta or violetta it is such a pretty color and i will give you a swatch it's pretty pigmented i feel like finger swatches really don't make justice for them but i do have some tutorials that i am planning to do using some coastal scent eyeshadows and yeah i mean they're really amazing really affordable so if maybe you have been looking for some new hot pots um, I highly suggest them. They're really, really good. And they're a lot cheaper than Makeup Geek. And I think that most of them, or at least the ones that I've gotten so far, have been pretty good. I don't see any fallouts. And I think, again, the pigmentation is pretty spot on. Now, I do put mine on a Z palette, which Coastal Sense sells their own little like, Z palettes, which I'm not a big fan of. So I just get a Z palette from eBay and... I just put them in here and that's where I keep them. Now, another item that has just taken over the internet, I feel like, in the past weeks. I did just get this, but it is something that I have not put down. This is the new Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and I got mine in the color 2 or number 2. This is such a gorgeous color. So this is what it looks like. So you get your bronzing color and then you get your highlight color, which is what I'm wearing on my cheekbones today. As you can see, it's just like BAM. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love the pigmentation on it and I like the texture of it as well. I've heard from some people saying that this is very comparable to MAC Whisper of Guilt as well as Estee Lauder Heat Wave. I don't own any of them, so personally, I can't vouch for that, but it's amazing. They have um, another one, which is the number one, and that one has more of a pink undertone, which I really like, but I really wanted this one. So, amazing product. If you don't have it yet, oh, get it. You will not regret it. It's totally worth it. So, again, that is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and number two. So very quickly, this is the only lipstick that I wanted to talk about because I have not put this down. And again, I get so many questions when I wear this lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick and it is called Fergie Daily. It is such a pretty color. 
it's very light and when you apply it it does have a little bit of those pink nude undertones it is so gorgeous you guys it does have more of a silky finish or silky satin finish I would say but it's so pretty you guys know that I love my mattes but this is such an amazing color if you like max um, blankety this is an exact dupe for it. I will put a picture somewhere here so you can see the side-by-side -side comparison. It is such a pretty color and it's super affordable. So I only have three items to show you guys. This has been my obsession right here. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Mist Replenish and Revitalize Skin. This contains witch hazel, rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, aloe, and vitamin B. So... This thing is amazing, you guys. Like, I hauled this in my last e.l.f. haul. And this stuff, oh, I cannot I cannot even say how much I love this. Like, I think I'm like halfway done with this bottle. I use it on a daily basis. So, what I like to do is I like to wash my face, um, tone it, and then I'll apply my moisturizer. And then, um, once I've done pretty much everything, I just go in. I miss my face. I pretty much just wet it and then I press that against my skin. You can definitely smell the witch hazel which I love. Witch hazel is amazing for acne. So if you have acne prone skin I think you're really going to enjoy this product. It absorbs into my skin so nicely and it gives me a really nice glow to my face. And I feel like this almost controls the shininess that I get around my face because I am oily. So, uh, yes, I love this stuff. I think I'm going to have to buy a backup because I am going through this like a maniac. So, uh, yeah, I love you. All right, so I have another face product, and this is the Provise Skin Type 1 through 6, and this is to neutrify your skin. I did get this in my Boxy Charm, which I did a couple of weeks ago. I will leave that video linked down below if you haven't seen that, but pretty much what this is, it's a clarifying, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's not oil. It, it, it almost feels like it's water. But it feels so good on your skin. So again, what I do is I wash my face with my regular face wash. And then once I'm ready to apply my makeup, I apply this first. I take the little droplets and I place about five drops on the forehead and just massage it all around. Then I take another five drops and I place it underneath my eyes just in circular motions. And then I apply maybe three more drops and I do it all over my cheeks up to like my ears, down to my neck. And oh, this stuff feels so good on the skin. I feel like it's helped me a lot with the complexion of it. I feel like my skin does look a lot brighter. My skin feels so silky and oh, I just love it. So if you guys received this in your boxy charm, let me know what you guys think of it. I literally am right down to here because I have been using it since I got it. And I do really like it. It is on the pricey side, but I mean, once I run out of this, I might even purchase it because it's really, really good. So let me know again your thoughts on this product here. Alright, so last product that I wanted to talk about, and this is something that I don't mention too much on my channel, but it is something that I've just been ugh, crazy over. This is a perfume, and this is a Versace Vanitas, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I actually got this for my birthday. It came in a cute little Versace bag with a little sample perfume, and then it comes with the lotion. This stuff smells so amazing so let me just give you the notes just so you can kind of get an idea of what it smells like so the top notes it's lime and i feel like i can kind of smell it now that i read about it then there's two middle notes which is freesia freesia i suck at this but that's um one of the middle notes the other middle note is ty tyree flower t-i-a-r-e i'm sorry i know that I know that I bug some people when you can't pronounce things and I am those annoying people. But that's um, a flower which is a middle note. And then the base notes are Virginia Cedar and 
Tonka bean, which I've never heard of any of them. So those are the top notes, middle notes, and the base notes of the Vanitas Versace perfume. It is so long wearing on me. I apply it behind my ears, behind my neck, right here, right here. And if I'm wearing like capris or shorts, I apply it behind my knees. And everybody tells me what are you wearing and I always forget the name of it but yeah so this is um, the Vanitas by Versace so that is everything like I said I didn't have very many items this month so let me know what your favorites were for the month of March and leave them down below in the section and that is everything that I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye